What a game. I don't like that pain. Eyes downturned. Shamed. Sat down and blamed. Consciousness remained. Renamed. Infectious thoughts clapped back with flames. Myself? Insane. Cataracts across the brain. Eyes shut all the same. What's her name? Alzheimer. If it's alright with her, I'd prefer to forget all we were. Remember the sex, but ignore the hex. And the fights, up all night. Screaming about what we might, but we never did, and we never do. Voodoo memories, highlights of the centuries. Who knew we were just two children who never grew? Fuck no, no show, never grow. How could we possibly know what it meant to undeniably expose our true selves, our full selves, to one another? Bodies bound together, closer bonds than a brother and a mother and her daughter emerging from the womb. How then could we break? Now all relationships feel like a tomb. After the pain comes the laughter and the blame. Now I'm craftier. Main battle plan is to come out unscathed. I like to say I'm unfazed, but thoughts drift like butterflies. Up, down, all around. Just don't settle on the ground. Lethal consequences. Unless we find the petal. Soft protection. No comfort from the erection. Mad-made towers of glass. That butterfly hits a window. Can only see but never go. Never flow. Inside with the normal people. The man with the plan holding a spray can. Threatening you all the same. You are no pest but you speak with the same name. Insect. Bug. Neglect. Hug. I only wish I felt so beautiful. Rejection is fine if the reflection of the mirror is divine. Oh well, it's time to dwell online, to find an echo chamber and self-confine, self-define, radicalize, and find other butterflies with revolution in mind. Wow, that was unkind. He just asked a question. He wasn't attempting to undermine. Now, alone again, stepping back in time, redefining the order of life, self-directed strife, better than the words of that lady. Forgot her name again. Let's call her not wife. Trying to pretend that we can be kids again. No problems, just friends. But no, time doesn't end. The clock keeps ticking again and again and again. I sit watching the second hand bend, watching a caterpillar's life come to an end, wondering if it thinks the cocoon it's constructing is friend. True, everything changes, everything ends. Anything goes when you fly on the wind. Just flap your wings and deny its effect. Flutter here, hurricane there. I have a low effect because I know the effect of a society looking away. A man dying in a gutter unable to sway, unable even to pray. The windows are all closed, the cocoon is far away. Still he manages to smile when a butterfly floats his way and chooses to settle, for his fingers are a petal. And he'd never shoo that fly away. Small beauty, vibrancy amongst filth, moments of clarity against a bleak totality. Silver lining, no point pining, no reason to complain, because this is life just the same. Entropy is a catastrophe, when observed linearly. So detach and meditate liberally, don't dither, and consider the possibility that the ability to see all this mess actually makes us blessed, that factually the stress binds us to duress, but also in love and moments from above, taken in concert I know that I want it, for although this malady is punctuated by minor notes, it would feel like a crime to ignore the chime, and the bells and the whistles that sing across the length of that butterfly's wing. Watch and find that strength, listen and you'll hear the man sing, hope and faith is the greatest wealth to bring. Worn like bling, in a fire shining, a diamond ring. What a crime it is to deny that it's time to begin ascending and assembling, climbing that tower of glass, now armed with that ring. A hard thing that can shatter the windows of self-imposed oppression. No longer will that butterfly dip into depression, but on and on again upwards to the sky, to the moon, to the stars, to the warmth of the sun. Gunshot power undone. By divine majesty of our star's energy, powering the world, leaving leaves to unfurl feeding the very dirt that the petal uses to survive, to attract the bees and the flies, to take forth its pollen and multiply. What a miracle is this thing we call life. Yes, there is strife, but the pinnacle of existence isn't eternal happiness, just an acceptance of all, a journal of independence from obsolescence, and the delivering of a kernel of wisdom to share and lay bare, here, there, and everywhere. I swear by the butterfly's wing to stop comparing and start feeling those thoughts fledgling. Of purpose and meaning, a pledge to step down from the ledge, not the way I came, but to jump, trusting that I too can fly, trusting that I too have the wings of a butterfly.